rivalry being in this state just thoughts on it and it kind of amplifies itself this year because it's yeah. maybe a little more on the line no it does it does definitely so i mean growing up in oregon this is this is always the biggest rivalry um you know every single year um i don't know what they're what they're calling the rivalry now but it's you know it's a, it's a huge game um it's meant a lot to me for for so long um you know watching these games being played they're always competitive um you know we're, we're playing for for a lot um you know especially this year you guys have pride tested last week because you guys have been so good all year and to, to show up like that and have it go that way does, does that impact anything this week do you feel like there's anything extra to prove maybe no i think i think you got to take it week by week so so for us you know like, like i said we we either go one and oh or oh and one for the week and last week we went we went 0 and 1, but by Sunday we, you know, we we're ready to move on. Go, be, be 0 and 0 for the week, and and uh, you know just just try to go 1 and 0 every single day uh, leading up to this game and throughout the game. What do you see with their front? You know they bring you know they bring a lot of pressure. Um, they run some different stuff. They're stemming the front. Um, they they got some really talent uh, really talented players. A really good front seven just just in general. Um, you know some veteran linebackers uh, that we played last year. Uh, you know, just just all around a really talented defense, and when you turn on the film, you, you, you just you see all them flying to the ball. Um, you know, they really, they play really well together. Um, you know, they, they you can see that they play for each other, and they, and they play really hard. And they you know they got they got the talent to back it up too. Kind of unusual. They shifted defensive coordinators in the last three yeah. weeks, and the stats suggest it was a good move, and they're playing a lot yeah. better. Is there anything from a philosophy schematic perspective that you see shifting there? Um, you know, not a whole lot specific that I can think about because it's kind of, I, I was thinking about it, it's kind of hard to change a whole, right. you know, defensive scheme, um, you know, three quarters of the way through the year. So that, 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 that'd be tough. But, you know, they, they certainly, they've played hard through, throughout the entire, uh, you know, the entire season. Um, they continue to stem the front, um, you know, do a lot of things with, with moving, moving uh, movement and, you know, slanting across, across the whole line. Um, so they're they're going to be kind of flying around there, and so we we've gone against that before. So we got it's going to be a great challenge, great challenge for us. What have J Jalen and Johnny meant to this team? You've been on it with them yeah. for a while, but from a leadership perspective, just a personality perspective, aside from what they do on the field, and, and kind of what does that absence create for you guys? Yeah, you know, those guys have been you know the heart and soul of this team for for a long time. I think you know coming in the same class with them, um, they've always been you know true leaders and guys that you know if if you were going into a fight, you'd take those two with you. Um, 100% of the time, because you know they're they're tough dudes. Um, you know they play hard. They're not worried about their personal stats. You, you watch their that shows by if you watch their perimeter blocking, they're getting after people. Um, so I think they're also kind of O line at heart um, in a way. But you know they mean so much to this team and, and this program, and they've they've had such an impact on this program and, and the young guys. And so just because they're not on the field doesn't mean they're you know they're not contributing and, and they're they're in the meetings. Um, you know they're getting with the younger guys. Um, really showing them what it means, uh, you know, to be an Oregon, Oregon player here. So, I think for us, it, it's a huge loss on the field. But you know, they're doing everything they can. Um, you know, I know that they wish they could, you know, be out here more, more than anybody. So, so for them, it's uh, you know, it's really tough to see um, just two two guys like that go down. Um, to see anybody go down, but especially especially those two guys. Another team with two really good inside backers. Uh, yeah. That's what you've seen from. 34 and 36 it just what makes them unique even compared to a week ago when you faced a really good inside backers. yeah yeah you know they they play they play downhill um i think that's the biggest thing is is they're downhill downhill runners um they fill the gaps really really hard um you know playing them last year they they were the probably out of the, out of the teams we played last year they're they were probably the best the best linebacker duo uh you know we played and and they're you know they, they pop out on film um they play really well together too um you see they, they have a lot of chemistry and they they're the leaders of that defense, so um, it'll be a great challenge for us. Um, you know, to play downhill guys like that, and especially guys that are kind of commanding of, of their defense um, and the heart and soul of their their team and their defense. So it'll be a great challenge for us. Just because it's senior day, just to be doubly sure and clarify, you're sticking by what you said back in July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna participate in uh, senior day. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be coming back this this next year. So. Because it is senior day, obviously it's a finality yeah. for a lot of your yeah. teammates and a lot of the guys you know really close. Have yeah. Have you thought about what that'll be like for them, maybe, and, and, and importance of making sure that they're sent out the right way? Yeah, no doubt. You know, it's kind of funny. I've been with you know guys like uh, you know George Moore for forever. <laughs> he's right. been. I mean, obviously he's 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 a lot older than a lot of, a lot of the guys. But I've been with him since we we enrolled in the same time. So I think for for us, it's you know it's gonna be a you know a tough day seeing that being his last home game. We got to send him out, um, you know, on a good note. 
Um, so I, I just think I just think for us, it's it's sending all those seniors out on a on a good note. You know, we didn't get to have a you know true senior day last year, so I think it'll be it's always a really special day, um, really emotional day. But you know, we got to focus on the game and just just try to go one and zero for for the day and make it a make it a sweet ending for them. As a, as a leader on this team, coming off a loss like you just had, yeah. what was your role in kind of ensuring everybody's mind was in the right place the last four or five days? You know, just just treating everything like 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 what we always say just mean, mean what we say when we say 24 hours after the win or loss you got to move on so you can't you can't let this team beat you twice um and what i mean by that is you can't let this loss you know carry over into this week and still be thinking about it. You, you just got to move on and you know as much as it sucks and it you know it hurt to to watch that film and you know see what we we could have done differently um and just have those regrets uh you know you got to move on so for us it's been all oregon state so i think for me it's just ensuring the guys that you know there's still we still got a lot of our goals in front of us um you know there's a young team they've been accustomed to you know they've been almost almost spoiled to to winning and stuff and when they have a game like that we haven't we haven't had a game like that in a while so i think for us it was just the older guys you know take taking charge and taking over the team and you know saying hey we still got our goals in front of us um, we got to move forward though if we, if we want to have a chance of achieving those because this last game you mentioned it, you guys have been playing so well leading up to this and yeah the last game almost feels like an aberration does that make it easier to, to move forward and say well we can point back to just two weeks ago three weeks ago when we were playing well and we were playing to our standard yeah i think i think you you realize that, that when you when you watch the film hey that's this wasn't our best um and you do look back but at the same time we're we, we always say it's, you know, you're only as good as your last performance. So we got to go out there and, you know, we, we can't do what we did last week. We got to we got to elevate, you know, what we were doing from a process standpoint from from every everybody in the program's got to elevate, you know, what they've been doing and, and their one and no process for the for the week. So I think for us, it's been a huge emphasis this week is doing everything, every little thing you can um, and just, you know, st staying on the guys. So for me, just staying on the O line, um, you know, getting extra meeting time in, which you've been doing the whole year. That's not something new, but you know trying to find new ways to you know gain, gain an edge um, this week. So I think I think we've done a good job of it so far. So we've just got to continue on uh, all the way throughout the game. Obviously, there's so many Oregon kids, so many Portland kids on both these rosters. Yeah. Just how much fun is, is this rivalry week for you as an in-state kid? Yeah, you yeah, know, it's great. I think growing up, you know, you always watch this game, um, been going to these games and stuff. So I think for me, it's, uh, you know, it's always been a big deal. I know for, for Ryan and Dawson, it, it, it's a big deal as well. Um, you know, we got some younger guys on the team as well that are, that are from Portland. Um, but I think for us, it's, it's just a big deal because we've been watching it for so long. So, and Coach Griswold does a great job of, you know, making sure the guys know the importance of this game, um, not just because it's the next game, but also because it's a, you know, it's a rivalry. It's been a rivalry for, for a very long time. Um, you know, really historic rivalry between between these two teams. So it's always a big deal for us. Do you, do you still talk to Jaden Grant or any of those guys that you grew up with? Yeah, yeah, no, I still talk to Jaden. He's yeah, and he's a, you know, he's been, he's he's a great player for him. You can see it on film. So I'm, you know, I've been, you know, proud to see his his success there. Um, so it'll be fun to you know compete compete on Saturday against him. No trash talk this week though. No, no, I'm not a big trash talker. <laughs> believe it or not. This is a game without a name right now. It had a name. Yeah. That you've taken. Have you heard a name thrown around? That you like in terms of how to refer to this rivalry? Um, Do you have anything? Gosh, uh, I think I heard Willamette River rivalry or something, and I okay. thought that was kind of fun. I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to say, so maybe maybe not the best one, but it is kind of a cooler one, I guess. I thought um, I haven't really seen many many good ones though, to be honest. Same. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll a lot see. of bad. Yeah. A lot of bad. yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks Alex. Alex. Good. Yeah. Appreciate y'all.